Welcome to MTS Vlogs. Today I'm here at Avi Trading to review their new collection. And they have the 2021 Mercedes-Benz CLS. And we are reviewing this car today. So let's not waste any time. Let's start the review. So guys, now let's start the review. So let's show you the key first. So this is a cool thing about the key of the CLS written with a Mercedes-Benz logo over here and obviously the key of the car so i think this key is better than the e-class key the e-class key was a little bit cheap feeling but this is the real key that comes with the mercedes-benz s-class and the cls so now let's not waste any time let's start the review so guys now let's show you the front of the car so let's start so first of all you can see the mercedes-benz pin grill over here so i really like this grill i it was the same grill on the e-class and this so this is actually a real famous grill that because a lot of Mercedes cars have this grill. But the AMGs get the Panamericana and the non-AMG gets the pin grill. So you can see it's a very nice grill. You can see the pins and then the chrome line that comes still here with the Mercedes Star 1, 2. And you have the radar inside here for the active cruise control. And if we come up, this car has the premium plus package. That's why you have the surround view camera. So this is the front one. And then if we go a little down, you can see these air vents are open for cooling the engine of the car. So the air goes up and then when I show you the engine, you can see all the mechanism for cooling the engine. You have the number plate slot over here with Avi Trading number plate. If you need this car, you can contact with Avi Trading. Their Facebook page is in the description. If we come to the side, you have the tow hook right here with the grill. And then you have a 360 parking sensor. So one, two and then more on the other side then you have this very nice design this is not functional but you don't need that much aero on this car because this is a luxury car but still this vent is real you can see the air goes from here and it comes out before the wheel that's a very nice feature of this car too now let's show you the headlights okay so now let's show you the lights of the car so i'm going to go at the interior and turn on the lights for you so i'm going to go inside close the door for the outside sound so foot on my brake press the start button the car has been started so this is for the first light there and then this is for the full light is on this is for the hazards there you go this is for the high beam this is for the high beam off high beam high beam off now if i come out so there so you can see this is the full light so these are the led high performance these are the standard light that comes with the mercedes-benz cls and you can get the optional extra that is the mercedes-benz multi-beam led so you can see this light is also very good you can see a very nice design over here and if you guys come a little closer you have the written led high beam high performance right here and then you have the Mercedes-Benz low written over here too. And then you have the hazards right here. But if you turn off the hazards that I'm going to show you right now. So there you can see that's like a daytime running lights on this car. So you can see there you go. So this is for the hazards. This is for the full light and that's for the high beam. So now we're done showing you the headlights. Let's show you what's under the hood. Okay, now let's show you what's under the hood of this car. So I'm going to go at the interior and turn on the open the hood, not turn on. So the hood opener is right here. There you go. Now I'm going to open the hood from here. So there you go. The hydraulic struts are going to open the hood. So this engine, this is a three liter straight six with a EQ boost. So you have a three liter straight six and the output is 300 horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque from this engine it's a lot of horsepower from this mini engine in my opinion and this has this particular car is rear wheel drive but obviously you can get the formatic so now let's show you the cooling system so you guys saw i told you the grills were open the air comes from here it cools the radiator then it goes here for cooling the turbos so there you could see for cooling the turbos and the engine bay so there you go and that's for it we have 
very nice designable and organized engine bay you have the headlight washer over here so i mean you have the windshield wiper washer fluid you could put it right there and then you can close it from there there you go it obviously gets hydraulic studs because it's a premium level car and insulation this is a petrol engine now we're done showing you the engine bay let's close the engine bay then there you go we're done showing you the engine bay now i'll show you the hood so you can see it's a very nice design of this hood it is actually really aerodynamic so you can see there's a lot of fins all the way i really love the design of the mercedes-benz cls it's a very nice design now we're done showing you the front let's show you the side profile so guys now we're showing you the side profile so first of all let's show you the wheel of the car so this is the amg twin five spoke wheel 19 inch and this is the same wheel we reviewed the e-class so it's a very nice design you can see you have the amg written right here and a very nice design on this wheel so let's see the size so the wheel size is 245 40 r19s so the front wheels are always thinner on real wheel drive cars so the front profiles are 40 240 245 40 and the rear ones are more fatter let's see now what's in the rears so before that you could see this is the amg line that's why it has optional side skirts over here it has the rear view camera with the surround view camera over here and another light at night and you have the hazards light so for turning that on there you go and then you can turn that light on and there you go that's for the hazards these have blind spot monitoring but they don't have lane departure assist but lane departure assist is an option then you can see these are fully blacked out because of the amg line there you can see and because this is a coupe you get full frameless door at the front and you get frameless door at the back too and why when you open the door why does the glass go a little down and if after you're done closing it why does it go up because if it stays up if you like smash the door like this it's going to hit the glass and there's a possibility that the glass can break that's why this is a very nice technology in every single frameless car there you go now for the fuel tank so for opening the fuel tank just press here there you go and the fuel tank capacity is 66 liters and you can open it from here and then after you're done filling up you can just close it like this so there you go this is for the full side profile you have the blind spot monitoring sensor and you have a vent over here that's very nice now let's show you the rear wheels so the rear wheels are more fatter obviously it is the same wheel so the rear wheels are 275 35 r19s so you can see the rear wheels are more thicker than the front so there you go we're done showing you the full side profile of the car now let's show you the rear of the car so guys now let's show you the rear of the car so first i'm going to show you the tail lights of the car so i have to go at the interior and turn on the lights for you so here we go in there you go and my foot is on the brake and i'm pressing the start button there you go the car has been started the full backlight is on with the fog and the hazards and if i put on reverse you can see the reversing camera the reversing camera comes out from the logo and there you go if i put it back to park the logo is going to go back in there you go now if i come out now am i now if i come out of the car you can see the full daylight over here with the backlight the fog over here the hazards and the reverse it's a very nice tail light from mercedes i really like this tail light for their very nice scoopy saloony car and now if i come over here you have this really nice design over here so this is the logo of the car you guys saw when i put it on reverse the reversing camera came out of here and for opening the hood i have to also do it from here you have the cls 350 badge over here with the tail lights that's very nice now let's show you the practicality so for opening the tailgate you have to just do it from here it's assisting you to open it then you have a lot of storage like look you don't have to fold the seats you have a lot of storage then you have a hanger over here that you can store some of your grocery bags so it doesn't dangle all over the place then you have your first aid kit that comes with the car that's a very nice thing and then putting that back in you have some netage area over here 
Now if we open this, you have underfloor storage. Like how many times are you going to hold this? It has a little hook for holding this over here. Then you can see the underfloor storage is really much. You have a basket that comes from Mercedes Benz. So you have to just open it from here. And there you go. This is the basket. So very nice. So we're closing this back in. There you go. And then put that back in its place. You have the tow hook over here. So for towing your car from the front, you just take this, you open the clamp and then screw this back in. Now if you close this, there you go. The boot space is going to be written obviously. And then you have the reverse, I mean the emergency triangle over here and another reflector over here. So when the hood is open, another car is coming, it's going to reflect. And the boot closer is over here and then boom. There you go. We're done with the full rear of the car. Now I'll show you the diffuser so guys now let's show you the down of the car so first of all these are not the fake exhaust these are real so you can see one is inside here and one is inside there so no fakery it has a very nice chrome surround over here you have the rear tow hook you have reflectors with sensor and one two and one and two you have all the sensors then the arbitrating sticker and the number plate slot with two lights and more sensors down here you have this very nice diffuser with this black treatment that all the way goes to the other side and that's very nice and on this corner you have these very nice vents over here that are for sporty look on both of the sides so now we're done showing you the full back i forgot this thing you have the brake light on the glass so here and the rear windshield is heated so we're done with the full back and the full exterior now let's go inside the car now we are on the rear seat so you can see this is a coupe so you can see the sloping roof line that comes over here but still i have a lot of headroom a lot of knee room look at the ambient lighting like look at this ambient lighting over here that's changing colors there you go you have the burmester over here that i'm going to show you when i come to the other side but just look at the ambient lighting look at this ambient lighting over here look at the one in the door handle that's very nice and you have ambient lighting over here and in the floors very nice so that's for it you have the seat pockets over here on both of the sides you have the center ac vents that feels really good and then if you get this down you have a 12 volt socket socket and you have a charging point right here with a ashtray close this you have some very nice material over here that i like and then if you just open the center armrest there you go you have a little storage down here to put your mobile device or something and it is velveted and if i close this you have two cup holders over here for either side and if you close this there you go so you have isofix an anchor points on this car and this is brown leather interior so you can see the isofix anchor points are here and what are these so you can get optional rear infotainment systems so these are for that now if i come on the middle there's a little hump because of the nine speed multi-clutch transmission but it's okay like there's a lot of room now if i come in this side let's show you the door so over here so it has this very aluminum finish over here and you have the burmester sound system and another over here you have the door opener with chrome surrounds you have the window opener over here in full chrome and look the window fully goes down so this is a coupe car and the window fully goes down like look at mercedes like other manufacturers they are doing it but you guys not good so guys and then you can obviously close it from here that all the way goes up and i love the frameless door over here then obviously you have a little bit of storage over here with the light that's very nice and now we're done with the rear seat so if you want to close the door there you go the window is going to go up now we're done with everything except the front so now let's go on the front seats so guys now let's show you the infotainment system so for that my foot is on the brake let's start the start button you can see the Mercedes Benz is here and then my foot is on the brake start there you can see the car has been started so my Bluetooth is connected so I don't want any copyright issues so it's going to be off so this is the infotainment system this is not the MBUX this is the older version but on the 2022 it's going to come so first of all you have radio so over here 
you have radio then you have media then you have telephone so telephone is like bluetooth and stuff like that and connect is like apple carplay and android auto because it has both now if i go back once it's vehicle so if i go on vehicle first of all you have the driving dynamic select so if you go over here so these are the eco comfort sports so everything's going to be changed and then over here if you go you have the engine data so over here like your newton meters of torque and the kilowatts and you have the engine temperature and stuff like that so here you can see and now if i go back on this so you can see the vehicle data there you can see so the x this is for the accelerator this is for the brakes 100 percent brake is in there you can see now if i go once more back if i go up now you have the individual so drive so if i want on eco or if i want on manual shifting because it has paddle shifters you can do it from that but i'm going to leave it on comfort now then you have the steering so i want my steering on sport so it is a little heavy and then if you go back you have the esp so i want the esp to be on sport plus so if i go out now again that's it now if i go once more out you have the assist so over here like your cameras and stuff like that there you can see this is for the reversing camera so if you just press this the reversing camera opens so you can just wash it and then you can close it from here and then you can control a lot of stuff like when you're washing your car you can just press this so the parking sensor doesn't you know always annoy you and if i come once more back you have the light settings that's the best so first of all you have ambient lighting so if you think of mercedes you have to tell about ambient lighting so i'm going to put it on ocean blue you can see the ambient lighting over here so this is also a cool feature of mercedes car so if i go down oh wait i'm going to change the color so you guys understand it i'm going to put on purple sky so if i go on down you can see it turns to blue if i go up it turns red so you can see on the ac vent there it turns red there it turns blue so i'm going to put it on 20 and on the other side too so there there very nice so now it's on the back it's color so then you have first of all you have ocean blue then you have purple sky then you have the best my favorite the red moon then you have fire red you have the blue and yellow mixture sun yellow and a lot of more colors you can put it on color mix so it's going to change by itself so let it stay on that now if i come one more back you have the exterior color so after you lock the car after 15 seconds all of the lights are going to close i mean turn off and the interior after you lock the car all of the lights are going to turn off in 15 seconds you can control that also from the car then you have the vehicle settings that like the speed limits and stuff like that and you have the owner's manual that you can control from here so there you go that's for vehicle now if i go over here this is the system like your display and style so if i go on design now you have sport so there you can see it's changing the rpm already changed and then you have classic and then my favorite you have progressive the most aggressive so you can see the rpm straight up on your face that's it if i go back once you have a lot of display like the display off or the display on stuff like that so there you go and this is for the infotainment system it is a very nice infotainment system over here with ambient lighting on top of here till here so now we're done with the infotainment system let's hear the sound quality so guys now let's listen to sound system That's enough.
So you can see this car has the optional extra full per semester sound system. So it's a very nice sound system. Now we are fully done with the uh, infotainment system. So let's say bye bye to that. Now let's show you the full this, this and full this. So guys, now let's show you the aluminum bits over here. To look at this aluminum bit all the way goes start from here that all the way goes still here and then the door and then look at the ambient lighting down the door that all the way comes still here till here that all the way goes still here then you have the start stop button you have the four ac vents with ac with ambient lighting you have ambient lighting down the screen too and you have the ambient lighting on this one too very nice very nice ambient lighting over here now let's show you the climate control so guys now let's show you the climate control buttons so first of all you have this very good quality climate control buttons over here so you could adjust the temperature like here and the ac you want the air to be in or out you have the rear windshield heater you have the menu so you can see it over here so cold on both of the sides then you have the maxed front heater then you have auto this is for the wind speed this is for where you want the air to be and the same climate control on the other side there and then over here you have the controls so first of all you have the mercedes-benz watch over here then you have the telephone so if you go on there then you have the vehicle you have the hazards button you have media you have radio you have navigation so if you go on navigation it's not able now so i'm sorry i can't show you that yet then you have this very nice gloss black trim that all the way goes here you open this you have a wireless charging over here and you have two cup holders that are very nice and you have a usb to charge your mobile device and then you can close it there you go and then you have the infotainment controller so first of all let's start from this side so you have the dynamic select control so the first is so you can see wait let me show you so it's individual so what you want i want the engine on comfort and i want the steering on sport and the traction control on sport plus if i go one more down this is sport plus one more down it's sport and then comfort and then it's eco so i want it to be on sport plus that's the best driving mode and then behind that we have the parking sensors off parking sensors on then you have the full parking camera so it's going to come over here so let me show you that so this is for the full front this is for the direct front you can see the two Range Rovers this is for the both of the sides this is for the back this is for the straight back so there you go and then you have the auto start stop button so here and then over this side you have the volume control and the screen off and on over here with the volume control then you have the touchpad over here with shortcut buttons over here and a civil wheel down here with shortcut buttons again so cut and back to home so this is the old one but the new one that i showed you on the e-class is much better so this is for the full over here and you have ambient lighting on both of the sides that's also very nice you have a little glove box over here with two usb c types and an sd card slot there you go this is also soft touch material has been used over here you have the rear view mirror over here that's frameless and it is auto dimmed you have a light over here that you can turn off turn on from here and then you have a sunglass holder over here that has been used by very good quality close this you have a sunroof that i showed you so i'm going to open the blind now then just look at the vanity mirrors so open it you have a light right there and then close it you open this you have a, another light right there boom close this you have two mics for the voice command on both of the sides that you can see and you can open the sunroof from here so three two one there you go there and you can also close it from And then you could close the blind and open the blind manually like the G-Wagon. So we're done with everything that we showed you over here except the glove box. So for opening the glove box you have there, you have a lot of storage over here. Like it's not bad. 
close to this you have the airbag written because the airbag is over here and very good dash now we're done showing you the full this part now come from the driver's seat let's show you the seat so guys now let's show you the seat control so both of the seats at the front are obviously powered and this is for getting the seat front so there you can see my legs are getting clamped and no more oh so that's the most it can go and now let's get it back so there you can see a little more back would be nice and this is for the under thigh support so forgetting that i have to do it from here and there you go so now i don't need to rest my leg here i can just drive like this this is for the back there and the headrest is also powered there you go and you have three memory seats and you could control the passenger seat from here too with the Burmester Twitter over here with this aluminum bit and the ambient lighting you have the door opener with lock and unlock and if I come a little outwards you have the mirror closer and opener so there you can see and for opening it there you go and now this is you have the window controls over here and the window locker over here and then if you come a little down you have very nice quality and the boot opener with a light over here now let's show you the steering wheel so guys now let's show you the steering wheel of the car so you can see this is a full leather steering wheel and it's very light so there you can see and then there you can see it's very light and it is a power steering wheel so and it is telescope so it comes to you it goes up it goes down it goes back to its place there you go and here so this is my adjustment to drive this car and then you have paddle shifters over here so up shift down shift up shift down shift over here and because this is a mercedes you have the gear knob on one side and you have the all of the controls on one side so first of all let's show you this side so my foot is on the brake this is for drive and then this is for reverse this is for neutral and this is for park there you go and then on this side you have the hazards high beam and you have the windshield wiper controls over here that I'm going to not do right now so that's it for the steering wheel you have controls over here to control the screen you have controls over here to control that screen now we're done with everything except the RPM so now let's show you the full digital RPM let's show you the full digital RPM so let's start up the car you can see the Mercedes Benz CLS is here and high beaming then you can see the RPMs are on. Now my foot is on the brake, pressing the start button. There you go. So you have the speed over here in miles per hour. You have what driving mode you're in. You have the parking brake, you have the fuel, and you have the gears. And you have the seatbelt warning that I forgot. And then this side you have the RPM that red lines at 66,500 RPM. You have the temperature of the engine, you have the headlights, you have when it's powered, when it's charging and you can change it with a button on the steering wheel. So progressive, you can see the RPM and the speedo is here and then you have classic, so this and then you have the normal sport. So I like the classic the most, so I'm going to keep it on the classic and in the middle you can adjust a lot of things. It says ready because of the mild hybrid over here you have the outside temperature and the time and that's it for the rpm nothing that much because this is the older one but the newer one is better obviously and just look at that ambient lighting again like mercedes ambient lighting is the best now we're done with everything so i'm going to turn off the car so there you go close the window and turn off everything and i'm going to come out the car so if you like this video hit the like button 
comment subscribe what you want to subscribe and then comment what you want to see next on RV trading so we're done with this car it's a very nice car if you want this car or any car in the showroom you can contact with them their Facebook page is at the description now let's lock the car enjoy the close view